we need food to live people living in different places eat different types of food what is your favorite food why are some foods are called junk food our body needs food to survive food helps us to grow it gives energy to our body to do work it also helps to maintain all body processes different foods provide different materials which are required by the body to stay healthy to get these materials we need to eat these foods in right amount know the nutrients food provides different substances that give us energy help us grow and keep our body healthy these substances are called nutrients these include carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals and fiber carbohydrates carbohydrates are nutrients that provide energy to the body to do all kinds of work and body functions food such as bread cereal rice and pasta are rich in carbohydrates fruits and vegetables are other sources of carbohydrates fats fats are also nutrients which provide energy to the body fats get stored in the body under the skin the body uses fats to maintain its temperature and to cushion organs foods that are rich in fat include meat milk cheese vegetable oils and nuts proteins the nutrients necessary for growing and repairing body parts from skin to bones are called proteins they are needed especially for strong muscles protein rich foods include chicken fish beans eggs nuts and dairy products such as milk yogurt and cheese vitamins and minerals the substances containing carbon that are essential in small quantities for the normal functioning of the body are called vitamins for example vitamin k is needed for blood to clot or form a thick lump or mass to stop the bleeding when any body part gets hurt vitamin c is important in maintaining many body parts including the skin lips and gums the substances that do not contain carbon and are essential in small quantities for the normal functioning of the body are called minerals minerals include iron for the blood and calcium for strong bones and teeth other minerals important for the human body are iodine magnesium phosphorus copper sodium potassium and zinc most vitamins and minerals are especially abundant in fresh fruits and vegetables roughage the substances that are not digested and absorbed into the body but keep the digestive system working well are called fibers dietary fibers or roughage fibers help in throwing out the waste from the body fibers are found mainly in some vegetables fruits and cereal food water for life the body also needs sufficient amount of water our body contains 2/3 water and this water constantly moves around in the body and gets used up many of the foods we eat contain water it makes up most of our drinks as well balanced diet too much or too less of certain foods can cause ill health a diet which includes a wide range of foods that provide all the nutrients needed by the body in the right quantity is called a balanced diet it is essential for us to eat several servings of grains vegetables fruits dairy products and meat or beans every day complete health health is far more than simply feeling fine it includes a healthy and fit mind as well as body along with a healthy diet exercise sound sleep and good posture are essential for complete diseases a disease is the condition when one or more parts of the body are not able to function properly a disease can be identified from specific signs known as symptoms injuries such as cuts sprains or bruises are not counted as diseases diseases are caused due to various reasons some diseases are caused by the lack of proper food some are caused by harmful substances consumed by the body diseases may be categorized under two main groups non communicable diseases and communicable diseases 
non communicable diseases diseases that don't spread from one person to another are called non communicable diseases deficiency of vitamins and minerals may cause non communicable diseases so these are also called deficiency diseases intake of too much fatty food and lack of exercise cause obesity dangerous non communicable diseases such as cancer are caused by bad habits such as smoking communicable diseases diseases that can spread from one person to another are called communicable diseases these diseases can spread through air water and physical contact with others malaria common cold and pneumonia are some examples staying clean and maintaining a good hygiene helps in preventing such diseases the practices and conditions that help to maintain good health and prevent the spread of disease are called hygiene brushing teeth twice a day bathing wearing clean clothes and eating fresh food in clean plates come under hygiene communicable diseases are spread by microbes or germs such as bacteria protozoa and virus these germs enter the body of a person through the mouth or nose they may also enter the body through contaminated food and water they may get into the body through cuts and bruises in the skin as well insects or pests such as cockroaches and flies carry germs from sewers and contaminate our food and water this leads to diseases such as diarrhea typhoid and cholera eating with unwashed and dirty hands or eating in a dirty plate also allows germs to enter into our body milk from diseased cows can be a source of infection too some diseases are spread by protozoa carried by mosquitoes protozoan which causes malaria is called by the female anopheles mosquito the mosquito gets the protozoa from an infected person and then transfer them to healthy people by biting sometimes a healthy person carries germs of diseases such as dysentery cholera and typhoid people who come in contact with the carrier are in danger of catching the disease aids is an incurable communicable disease it is spread by a virus called hiv Many communicable diseases can be prevented from spreading through vaccination. Diseases such as measles and chickenpox are highly under control today because of vaccination. Most vaccinations are given to children when they are very young to build immunity. Immunity is the body's self-resistance against diseases.